Y'all definitely know what day it is. It's another Friday, another beautiful Friday. You know, it's mixing time again then. And I got a good, good one for you today again. I mean, I just keep pulling them out. This one is Milky Way. <laughs> oh, yeah. A good old Milky Way candy bar. And... You know, a lot of, some of these flavors y'all might not have if you're a beginner out there, but uh, they're really good, the flavors I use in this recipe. And later on, I'm going to tell you how much percentage is in this recipe, and it's going to blow your mind. You're going to be like, what? <laughs> so Hippie's got some tricks up his sleeve. Anyway, I wanted to answer a few questions that some people uh, asked and everything on uh, YouTube. Um, uh, two tone uh, asked me, goes, uh, please, Tony, can you explain the following with a recipe if possible? He says he has black jacks, licorice, anise, absinthe, red licorice, and black licorice. And he said they all taste the same with slight differences. Uh, thinking of doing a mix with all, if possible, with some berry mix or something, you know, menthol, some Irish cream, maybe, you know. Well, that, that's actually a, a good question and everything. And let me explain something about black licorices. They are strong. <laughs> Anise is really, really spicy. Me and Scott Rollins were sitting there talking about this one just a minute ago. Uh, your blackjack is stronger than your regular black licorice. Uh, you know... One stronger than the other. Uh, to be honest with you, and it really, really works well. If you take a watermelon flavor, okay, and mix, like let's say you're making a 30 mil bottle, and you want your watermelon real juicy and mouth watering. I'm serious, makes your mouth water. Uh, you mix your watermelon vape exactly like you like it and everything and put one, maybe two drops of like black licorice from the Flavor Apprentice and it will change that watermelon vape. It, it will blow your mind. It's so wet and juicy and just, oh man, add some sweetness to it. It really brings out a watermelon flavor. So that would be a good recipe to do would be watermelon with just a drop of black licorice uh another person asked uh can i make a grape slushy uh that one's actually really really easy a grape slushy okay you think of a grape slushy it's actually a trick question in a way because everybody has a different grape flavor in their slushy let's say you go to a burger joint and they sell slushies okay they've got their grape slushy. Well, they're using a syrup to mix in their chopped ice and everything. They're slushy. Well, everybody has their own flavor, so it's hard to say. Uh, a simple grape slushy would be like grape juice at 5% from the flavor apprentice. And if you're doing a 30 mil bottle, you know, 5% of uh, uh, grape juice and two drops of culotta and that's it that, that that's all that's all it is that there's your grape slushy uh <laughs> i'm serious it, it, it can it's that simple some some recipes are so simple to you know just you 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 wouldn't believe what the vape shop will sell you you know the vape shop you know they <laughs> They say it's a premium e-juice. It's really a house blend, and all it has is like one or two flavors in it. That's it. I mean, they're doing the same thing that we're doing. So, you know, don't let nobody else tell you different. <laughs> all right, let's get with this recipe and everything. It is a good one. Uh, Milky Way. Let me turn my light on so I don't blind everybody and everything before I get started. Bake it on this new little wasp nano. Man, that sucker puts out some good flavor. 
I'm getting used to it because I've been vaping on that dead rabbit forever now and you know getting them big old clouds and stuff and I kind of missed all the little 22 millimeter uh, drippers and stuff uh, like my velocity oh man mm -mm. this is my flavor chaser right here mm -mm -mm. all right let's drop down and get busy with this recipe it's called Milky Way and get it set right. All right, I'm Terry's gonna get my Milky Way tester out of the way. Turn my scale out, back it up, get me a bottle. Now, today has six ingredients. Okay. Now, the first ingredient I'm going to use in my Milky Way is Bavarian cream from the Flavor Apprentice. We're only we're doing a 10 mil bottle, okay? <laughs> oh, here's another thing. Every time I say if you, you're doing a drinking game at night time, watch this video at night. And every time I say, okay, you got to take a drink. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bavarian cream. At half a percent, so that'd be 0 0.05 on the scale. Ooh, way over. Ooh, baby. I might have to do a 15 mil on this one. Let me change that to a 15 mil edit. Yep, 15 mil. <clears throat> All right. Tear your scale out. Next up, we got Dolce de Leche with caramel. Caramel, caramel, however you want to say it. From the Flavor Apprentice. We're going to use this at half a percent also. Should be about three or four drops. Close enough. That stuff strong. Terry scale out on an uneven surface again. Okay. Oh, next up, we got marshmallow by the Flavor Apprentice. And marshmallow, we're going to use it at 2%. So that'd be 0.31. This gives it its little fluffy airiness. A little bit over, but that's okay. No big deal. It ain't going to kill the recipe. Next up, and this is a, one of those expensive flavors. That's why I got a tester. Uh, it's milk chocolate by Flavora. Now, this milk chocolate uh, is the, honestly, in my opinion, the truest, like a candy bar chocolate, you know. You got lava cake, which is really, really good. Uh, these, those two are my favorite chocolates that's out there. But this one is milk chocolate by Flavora, and this is pretty strong. So it doesn't take much of this at all. We're only going to put three quarters of a percent of this in. Okay, 0 0.75 uh, percent. That'd be 0.12 on the scale. One more drop, maybe. Boom. Yep, there it is. All righty. Tear your scale out. And I'm missing, mixing my fruits and berry mixes. Oh, those are my favorites. All right, next up, we got salted caramel or caramel. And we're going to use this at 1%. This is by Flavor West. This is a good flavor to have in your arsenal also for a good caramel. Uh, you could probably use a, another caramel, any caramel, 
but you don't want it to overpower everything. So I know this one won't. It's kind of light on the flavor. So 1% be 0.16 grams. Come on now. One more drop. Good enough. All right, tear your skill out. All right, last but not least, we got Tyrone Nougat from Flavor Art. Tyrone from Flavor Art. This is that multi note. Uh, it's the the that stuff that's in the middle of the Milky Way. You know, the nougat. That's what it is. All right. We're going to use this at three quarters of a percent. So that'd be 0 0.12 grams. Um, all right. Turn your scale out. P, uh, PG, I'm doing a 70 30 mix, so I need 3.66 grams. Ooh, a little over that's all right all right all right it's cold outside we got a cold front coming in so with there your juice it goes it wicks faster in cold weather if you're outside you know all right let's see here uh nicotine i'm at one milligram nicotine so that'd be 0.16 two, three, four, i'm just gonna put five drops in there that's all I want. And the rest is vegetable glycerin. And all I do is just fill her up. I leave me a little air in the top for shaking room. You see? I leave it. I don't fill it all the way up. So I shake it up real good. Put my cap on. Lid on. And go to chicken. <laughs> Man, I love this one too. I've been vaping on it for a while now. Messing around with percentages. And can you believe? Now here's what the shocker of the whole video. This only has 5.49% flavoring. Hello? Oh my word. Everybody out there is going, what the hell? You ain't going to be able to taste nothing on that. Mix it up and you'll find out. For real. You don't need all that daggone flavor. And people just going overboard. Uh, you know, ELR number one recipe, 23% flavoring. And you know, three weeks later, it tastes like shit. I'm for real. I don't know that people are cheating on ELR and getting likes, and I don't know how they're doing it, but they—it's uh, crazy. Don't don't trust them, the mixers out there. That you know, they—I don't even think they know they're flavoring single by themselves before you, before you go and throw all you just, you're just throwing stuff in there, you know. Learn your flavorings. Try you know each individual flavoring at what ELR suggests. Okay, I usually whenever on a single flavor uh, and testing it, it'll have uh, in a recipe percentage and it'll have single flavor percentage. I hit right in the middle between those two to test it out in a tester. Okay, so. That's how I taste test all my flavorings, you know. I've got a bunch of new flavorings and some interesting ones this time. I'll talk more about them flavorings when I start using them in recipes and stuff. Let's get this going. This one will take about a week, 10 days to really steep out real good set a week I mean you can vape it right away like I'm fixing to do right now you know uh, you'll get that good dark 
chocolate flavor. Try it on both of them. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, load it up now. Watch out. Mm. See, right off the bat, you're going to get that chocolate. And the chocolate's overpowering everything right now. That's why I'm saying give this one about a week to steep. And it'll that chocolate will calm down and you'll start tasting the nougat and the caramel and just everything else that Dolce de Leche brings in a little bit of caramel. You know, it, oh. Mm. Boy, that's some good stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I hope y'all like that mix today. Uh, if y'all have any other questions, you know, by all means, ask away. I'll answer to the best of my ability. If I don't know the answer to it, I'll send you in the right direction to get your question answered. Uh, but in the meantime, watch the percentages, people. Don't just go throwing that high percentage in there. You don't need no more 15, 20%. Don't ever go over 20% flavoring. Seriously, that's just, just nuts. But uh, in the meantime, peace, love, and harmony. Later, y'all.